What is going on, friends? We are back with another lab check-in. Last time you saw the cars getting put together, now they're together, vinyl's going on, and we are thrashing trying to get to testing. We're gonna make it, but it's gonna be some long nights. Let's see what's going on. Everybody's a little bit stressed out. Nobody got really any sleep. All right, champions, coming up. That boy's comfy already, man. God, no! Steering wheel's getting a super violent shake. I mean, there's gonna be a race in Long Beach, and we'll be there. Let's get back in. <laughs> Delivery right now. We're probably about at the halfway mark, I would assume. Just starting to piece together, get close to putting all the sponsor logos on. We've already got a couple mocked up. Um, but yeah, she's looking nice. Like any other time, it's just because you're deep, like you're here with the camera. <laughs> uh, we had a plan for some exposed carbon on Ben's car, and the concept was that the door in the rear quarter was going to be exposed. But would you have that? Seat? And I just went downstairs and saw that the door carbon was not good enough to be exposed. It's not that, you know, beautiful carbon that we wanted like fresh out of the mold with a little buff and just done. And so basically I had to make the call, even though the car was pretty much already wrapped, um, that we were gonna have to take, you know, the doors back apart and figure out a way to adjust the livery to expose the beautiful carbon of the rear quarter, which represents our quality work and um, at the end of the day it's it's my job and our design teams to make sure that what we dream up comes to fruition and unfortunately it just so happens that it's the day that everybody's a little bit stressed out so i have a slight change of plans here when it comes to ben's livery it's mainly because the molds that we have are old molds for the carbon parts so we're uh, backing off a little bit we're gonna replace the carbon with some satin black. A little bit more simpler of a look. It is what it is. Uh, this is the first time that we've had to make a last minute change. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, how much How much time have we got until testing? Uh, a day. <laughs> At this point in the year, every year, there's some level of insanity getting ready for a top level professional motorsport like Formula Drift. Yeah, we're basically gonna pull the entire wrap off except the yellow. We're putting VFD if there wasn't a time crunch. Around 12.30, the night before testing, it was still unknown if we were gonna be able to make day one of testing. Fortunately, when I woke up, I got a text message from Bobby, our shop foreman, said cars are on the way, head to Atlanta. So I jumped my little happy ass in the Mustang RTR Spec 2, tossed it in first gear, and sent it all the way down south for our first test. I slept here in the rig, so. <laughs> yeah, three minutes till five. Getting ready to roll out of the testing. Michael, they had to wrap the truck before testing, before we get down oh, no, there. I'll take days. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the hell? It's basically the same day. It's, it's the same day. <laughs> we didn't really, nobody got really any sleep. That's how it goes. <laughs> new cars, new driver, that's how it is, we're ready. 
partially. <laughs> Ready for bed. <laughs> I never covered my ears. Last night I was like, holy shit. <laughs> Isn't that what you wanted, James? You wanted it louder? This car was the loudest last year. It was. Year. Oh, so we was. put the X pipe in it to make it sound better and quiet it down. It Does it better. sound smoother? It's going to sound amazing. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to hear it. It feels really similar to the car I'm driving at home. Even my view and race good. Shifting is perfect. Seats better for sure. All right, championship coming up. I heard all I need to hear. See you later. So new year, new liveries. So James' car, I don't wanna say it was simple because we fully redefined that thing. Similar colors, but more pops in those tones. More things that are gonna pop on the track in the day, in the night. Really happy with how that was. Ben's car, we magically were able to make yellow, black, and pink mesh. I'm so pumped on how our design team made it happen. Thank you very much for Penzo for allowing us to step out of the box and do something very different. You know, we had to do something that really differentiated Ben from Chelsea and the representation of a new era, paying respect to Chelsea's championship and Chelsea retiring. We didn't want any confusion and we didn't want it to look like, you know, we were just replacing Chelsea with Ben because you can't replace Chelsea. So we have a new guy, new car, and I'm so pumped with how it's looking. If you guys haven't checked it out, here you go. about to uh, reveal Ben his car for the first time. The only thing he's ever seen is a livery rendering. We've not sent him any photos. He's been asking for them, but we told him we had to wait until this moment. So uh, we're gonna have Dan and Giffy Vanna White this thing for him. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, capture, capture this man's first reaction to his, his RTR. Yay! Yeah, that's the car, bro. Oh, look at them <laughs> shoes, son! Yeah, 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 son. Damn, Daniel! Good job, buddy. How are you? Good, how are you? Hey, we're up. matching. We're Twinkies, look. look up, we're Twinkies. Twinkies. <laughs> we're both right, you, got, you got the memo, dude? Oh, yeah, I got the memo. <laughs> What's up, dudes? This is like one of the first tracks I drifted my car. Full, Full circle, circle, right? Full circle. Well, there's your car, dude. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's black. black. Yeah, black we changed it. We changed the livery a little bit since you saw it last. Oh, yeah. All right, boys. Yeah. Let the man see all you guys' hard work. Ready, Ready One, Ben? Yep. Two, three. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God. That pick. <laughs> Oh. Dude, that's so, oh my God. If y'all weren't here, I'd probably cry. I don't know if you know, but that's a pro placard. That's a prize red, that's not purple, placard, dude. Bro. That one too. Ooh, walking out the haters with that. Some blind people, bro. It looks like a video game. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh, this is the coolest thing in the world. Something in your passenger seat to open up to. Uh oh. For you to check out. Uh oh. Woo! Let's see here. Oh man, it's already done. No way! That is the coolest freaking helmet. <laughs> that brings back the motocross days. Good job, Hayden. Good job, Hayden. <laughs> Hayden designed and wrapped it. That is sick, Hayden. Thank you, bro. 
Thank you, boy. He was told it couldn't be done. Ugh. Give me a hug. Hell yeah, bro. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Let's go have some fun with it. This is an honor. A freaking honor, baby. Let's get it. So I hope you guys love the liveries as much as we do. Our team put an amazing amount of work, time, effort, and passion to make them look as good as we feel they do. Let us know in the comments below what you think, which one's your favorite, what you like the most about them. And while you're at it, smash that subscribe button for us. Help us keep showing you guys these amazing videos that we're working pretty damn hard on to make happen. Now, the moment you all been waiting for, let's get to some testing and see these Mustangs slay some Nitto tires. Not a bad first lap, bro. Not a bad first lap. How's she feel? Oh, it's easy, dude. This Looks like you've been driving that car all year. Take this thing to Walmart, bro. Let's go. Oh, you yeah. feel the difference from it floating off throttle and yes, all yes, on throttle rip? Yes, That's why I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Coming through it like that. Yeah. yeah. But, mm -hmm. once you have transition, the last little corner was solid. Like, this thing's yeah. a unit, dude. Super good. Like, very manageable. The steering feels where I, like predictable where I want to put it. It didn't feel like it was one of like, throw too much angle or be snappy. Yeah. It was snappy because I wanted it to be snappy. Yeah. yeah. good um couple small issues to work through with james oh, car so having some power steering issues we changed over to a new pump this year and the rack that we use on this car actually has the bleeders on the bottom um and it's it's weird so we feel like we got some air in there but ben going on without it off without a hitch like he's been driving with us forever and he just hopped in the wheel and just <laughs> absolutely sent it so 
Uh, we're about to turn his nitrous on and get him some go juice and a little more grip and start uh, pushing him to focus on hitting proper lines and things like that. But a couple little things that we've told him about how to focus, you know, what to do on line, like on the bank. He was getting a little too snappy early and as the car is hooked up, if he does that, it'll drive off. So we gave him some feedback and he just immediately implemented it. So. The kid is sharp, and I had zero Actually, doubt, but uh, yeah, it's awesome to, awesome when your whim and your gamble uh, very clearly pays off. So uh, it's going to be a bright bright year, and that kid's got a bright future with us. So I'm excited. Oh, my gosh. 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 Oh, already man god dog <laughs> it fell out of nitrous yeah, out so of nitrous. what you have to know when you're doing that you got to come in harder okay. because if you are slow and you get into like at the proper like proper wheel speed to vehicle speed mm -hmm. you hit that bog yeah so you have to be ahead of it because when the car's locked down and the track's gripped up and you're on someone's door yeah you're gonna bog Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So you just have to get in the back of your mind, like, I got to make sure I'm in the nitrous. And look, if you go a little too hard, you can always come out. Yeah. Sooner go hard than soft yeah. and fall on its face. Because then when you fall on your face, then you got a tenth of a second getting a clutch kick, and now the dude's a half car in front of you, and now you're playing chase up with no tires. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Catch up. Cool. Yeah. Thank you very much. Let's go to Long Beach, baby. Yeah. Let's go. No, it yeah. looks like you're ready. I'm Should we dude. just save the money and not drug test tomorrow? Yeah, dude, fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want some tandems, dog. I need some yeah. tandems. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. testing went uh, amazing and not the greatest. This situation over here, absolutely amazing. Car ran flawless, Ben showed up, ready to do everything that he said he was gonna do and everybody when he's on the track just jaw dropped and just like exceeded, exceeded expectations for day one in here. It really looks like he's literally been driving it forever. Um, James' new car, on the other hand, we had some steering issues at like mid to full lock intermittently. The steering wheel's getting a super violent shake. So we are going to change back to the old pumps on his car, even though the new pump is working amazing on this car. We think it's something to do with the flow rate for the rack. Uh, it's a really interesting rack that we're using. I don't even know what it's out of, but it's a rack that um, a lot of drifters use in Australia and New Zealand because uh, we need a right-hand drive rack. So last year worked great with um, another set of pumps, so we're changing that back. Good news is all the cars are running amazing. All the standard systems are great. The changes we made on the front end are phenomenal. Um, we went up to a slightly larger 
uh, Nitto NT05 in the front to help with some of the um, lack of front grip we had last year when the cars hooked up, and that seems to be working extremely well. Chelsea tested that at Irwindale last year. So um, I would say we're like 90% awesome. Uh, just a couple bugs with the new car, which you know is to be expected, which is why we're doing a two-day test because we knew we'd probably run into uh, some drama. So uh, I'm really proud of the team. I'm pumped on our drivers. And um, yeah, we have another day tomorrow. We're getting to some tandem tomorrow, which I know the boys are excited about. And uh, yeah, could not, uh, could not be more stoked with, with what's going on right here. And of course, James is just a freaking lunatic with or without steering or one arm, it doesn't matter. <laughs> changes to the exhaust system and the intake and it sounds absolutely insane. All right guys, we got about two hours and 45 minutes for cars gotta be on the trailer. This is my first time using the stock handbrake. The handbrake's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. I'm like clutch kicking and slipping and clutch kicking and like trying to get it hot and it's like does not care at all. They're already used to the bumper budget, but we're getting used to the fender fund this year, so. 